So I know it's been more than a year since I've been promoting Dolly Robot and um, it looks like we're now nearing to the actual launch. Um, this is very exciting indeed. So this is the email context exchange I had with the um, representative of Dolly Robot. So uh, it is as follows. So it looks like Dolly is now targeting possibly uh, February for launch. So I hope you guys could keep an eye on the launch on Dolly. Uh, don't miss a golden chance. Uh, in the meantime, uh, they made a significant upgrades to Dolly as follows. So Dolly now runs on Raspberry Pi. That is fantastic news. We all love Raspberry Pi, making it the world's first upgradable companion robot. Indeed, it will be upgradable. Uh, you can customize its hardware to fit your pro um, project needs with more RAMs and storage. That is brilliant because so far we haven't seen any robots that we can uh, order, uh, look after at home and etc. that actually has a more uh, extension increase on RAMs and storage. That's really good. So we're going to, um, for open source, quite common actually, allowing the robots uh, community to modify hardware and design. That's very good. Um, Dolly is the only 3D printable companion robot in the market, giving 3D enthusiasts the freedom to print and personalize their robots. So I would like to see how other creative people, how they came up with the 3D printing and so on. And lastly, uh, they're introducing an add-on support with hardware connection ports for further customization. So unlike the robots that we have to wait for um, updates from the main company itself, it looks like Dolly is going to be more personalized, uh, community-based, sort of interacting, um, very unique robot indeed. So I'm very excited about it. So please do keep an eye on Dolly with the official websites and the launch. Hopefully we'll have it by February next year. Now the main highlight for today's video, I have to say, will be this robot called Rux uh, robot from a company called Let Ten Pay. Um, apologies if I haven't actually pronounced it well, but this seems to be a very interesting robot indeed, and it looks very similar to some of the robots we have seen so far that I don't want to actually name it. But let's actually get on to the video, and I'll actually express my reaction as well because of this. So here it goes. Hello, I am Rux, a desktop companion type robot. Okay, it has legs. Your entertainment sidekick, your productivity partner, your home guardian, and your go-to life assistant. But I am more than a robot. Right, so just let's stop there. It seems to have an ear um, with some sort of like an Alexa kind of lighting around it. It moves, but it, it also looks like a grip, but I'm not sure what it actually does. Um, and also a rounded uh, sort of screen as well. Okay, so it actually, the, the actual lighting around the ears actually changes to red to express that it's angry and, and so on. So that's very interesting. I am curious about the world and would like to make more friends to play with me. Okay, that's, that's quite a common thing. Okay, so the edge um, sort of avoidance protection. Okay. Yep, that's also common as well. You can say, Hi Rux, then ask any questions. I will tell you as much as I know. I can also recognize register commands. That's Very also been a uh, very common thing. Every single interaction and all our memories together will be kept in my system. Okay. I'm always learning to become an even better companion. But no worries, I will always be here by your side. I'm here to play, engage. Yeah, definitely the year is quite interesting. I'm here to assist in your work tasks and increase your efficiency. I can record everything in Ah. No, that's very interesting. So it will get a notification from Facebook. We just saw that. So you can focus on your work. I will also remind you. All oh, right. So is this like some sort of like a your health is my primary Okay, concern. so reminder of oh that's brilliant. So this is a very unique robot, an upgraded version from any other robots that we know so far. And this is fantastic news for me because I'm a great fan of 
Android uh, systems operations um, and it seems like it's going to be synchronized with your Android um, smartphone um, almost like a smart watch but bigger scale a robot form rather than a watch uh, so that is brilliant I was really eagerly waiting for this type of robots I will be your personal assistant. Clock, show you temperature, time, weather, anniversaries, schedule, anniversary, yeah. Topics and more. So it's more like a smartphone integrated. Um, and you can video chat with me. That's brilliant. I can improve your efficiency with my powerful skills. Teach me more via the apps. I am your work assistant, increasing your productivity. That's great. Connect me to chat GPT or. Oh. Then we can communicate by so um, we have seen like emo um, hopefully we'll get one for vector um, but also Luna actually has chat GPT and one of the problems with chat GPT integration is that it, there's a slow sort of um, response level uh, you have to wait a bit it will be quite interesting to see how rocks uh, robot will quickly respond with the chat GPT integration I love chat GPT integration by the way any questions? Ask me. Hi Rex, write a lunch plan. You can see the chat GPT logo behind it. Based on the new AI engine, I can provide you with more accurate answers. That's great. That's what chat GPT is as well. Finally, work day's over. Play a song for me. That's really good. Yep, dance because of the way how it's built. I like the legs actually. Oh, that's really good. Okay. You can remotely view your home with my camera. Or video chat with me for video call as well. I can integrate with your other smart home products. Or function as a remote surveillance camera to help protect. Look at that. That's really good. I will be an integral part of your family and bring you little surprises in life. Okay, so basically it, it also has the sort of home security system as well. Uh, that is brilliant news and also video conference call mm, because I think it's Android sort of integration. Uh, so I guess that is definitely possible. It will be quite nice to know the camera uh, sort of, uh, well, the, the definition of the camera that I actually use as well. What sort of megapixel? Uh, that it actually has. So yeah, it would be nice to find out. Hi, Rugs, turn on the lights. Sure. Am I nice to So it's like Alexa, sort of Google sort of um, integration. Not sure whether that's gonna be available on day one, but let's actually have a look at that. Okay, so these are the Okay, so this is the uh, CPU Cortex A55 and uh, GPU uh, Mali G52. I have no idea what it is, but if you guys know about it, please let me know. A55. So it's overall AI. Okay. LeeTanPay.com. Oh, let's pause there. So we've got ambient light sensor. Okay, cool. Touch sensor on the top so you can tap. Um, and temperature and humidity sensor. Oh, that's cool. Six axis um, gyroscope and uh, geomagnetic sensor. Obstacle avoidance sensor is actually on the chin. Uh, infrared sensor on the front and cliff sensing uh, sensor is at four of them, uh, just like Emo. They got, there's four of them, so that's quite sensible. So there's, there are a few unique uh, sensors that we have here, especially the temperature and humidity sensor is quite unique. So that would be really good actually, because we know that all the temperature that Emo or Vector actually tells is based on the cloud system, while this one actually can measure it directly from the room that you're based on because of this sensor. That's really cool. And these are like Lego-ish sort of. Rex, you can also control my movements, expressions, mm. gestures, or voice through the. Well, look, look at that. My system is open. And that looks like. Let's just put, like actually just go back a bit. So um, that looks like a decent speaker. I mean, um, one of the thing about Emo Robot is that I don't think it has the as good as quality a speaker as this Rocks Robot. So. 
that's also very interesting indeed and um, it looks like you can easily open up and and take care of it my system is open yes open and can control that's really good so there's a lot of um ah see that's the bigger bit of a disappointment so you just saw the way how it was charged uh it seems like it needs to be wirely charged every single time it doesn't seem to have a automated um recording uh, capacity at the moment which could be a bit of a letdown um we'll soon find out anyway whether rux robot will have a wireless uh, capacity on it that does make a lot of difference for the sense of automations and etc and, and linux through a system that's fantastic i love that yes. i'm your desktop robot i am rux i am a distinctive desk companion that makes your desktop more vivid and colorful i'm rux your desktop robot Cool, look at that. Great, okay. So this is from the company called litianpay.com um, and this seems to look like as if another upgraded from the um, robots that we already have especially i'm very excited about the android uh, integration and so on i think um lit 10 pi is very much um non-english based uh, language robot at the moment but then again i'm not too concerned because it will have a chat gpt integration on it, it the the level of question is again how quickly it's going to respond to your questions whether it's going to mumble a bit and then come back to you or would it be much quicker uh, that would be quite interesting to find out whether it will have a subscription fee based on the usage which i highly doubt it's going to be because a lot of robotic companies actually offer free use of chat gpt on it um, and i would love this sort of sense of a robot that actually has an, uh, like a integration with your smartphone just like a like your smartwatch but rather than a smartwatch itself when you sit on your desk it's a robot that does the same thing as well that would be really cool it's something that we haven't seen but again there's a lot of similarities with the robots that we already have for those um, robotics fans out there so i hope you also are excited about this upcoming uh, robot called rux it looks like this video was recorded with the quality of a um, Kickstarter or um, Indiegogo sort of standard. We'll, we shall find out whether it will be launched. These videos from this um, YouTube page called Let Chan Pay, I think it's a very new channel actually. Um, it only has 13 subscribers and um, yeah, all these videos were uploaded recently and I just randomly came across with it. So please do subscribe to their uh, YouTube channel and please keep an eye on this because this robot is a very interesting robot. I can guarantee you it's going to be a big hit. Uh, so overall, anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll keep you updated if I do get any response. I have actually re reached out to them uh, and so on. So this is another exciting time for a better upgraded robot indeed, isn't it? Anyhow, all the best to you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.